Hello there, my beautiful Cancer friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. And at the end of this reading, Cancer, I'm going to pull an additional bonus card, including an angel number for you as well. So stay tuned for that, my friends. All right, we are starting here with the Knight of Pentacles. So... I feel some of you have picked up on an opportunity, something that has got you into motion, into action. There's a lot of planning. There's a lot of strategize happening and strategy happening. And with this energy, like it's almost like this fire has been lit within you where you're wanting to kind of move in the direction of your dreams, cancer. And if you actually look at this uh, night, they are armed, they are equipped, they also have a cape on. So I feel whatever dream, whatever wish it is that you have been kind of manifesting into your life, it has come into fruition. So I feel that you've got it in your hands here and you're really running with it. I'm getting a lot of freedom coming in from this card here for some of you. So I feel for some of you, you're seeking that freedom in your life. You're working, you're working towards bringing balance into your life in a way as well. So know there's going to be a lot of success because you're the one that's creating this for yourself. Whatever this opportunity is, whatever the seed of a manifestation is, I feel this is the beginning point, point that is going to launch you forward. All right, so a lot of busy energy here as well. So we'll take a look at this card a little bit more in detail. Three of Pentacles, working in collaboration with those around you. I feel some of you are working in a team, some of you are looking for a team. And for others, those of you that are work, you've done something different. You've picked up on a skill set, right? There's something that you picked up here, cancer, that is working in your favor because I feel some of you are being recognized for all of your hard work and your efforts. And because of this, you're going to level up in your world. And this is a collaborative energy and I feel that Spirit Guides and the Universe is working in collaboration by sending you the signs, by making you feel things that you haven't felt before. I feel your gut instincts is very high right now because you're making choices, uh, you're making decisions based on what it is that you want and what is aligned for your best good. Okay, and because of this, this is you doing this cancer. There's something different that you're doing in your life right now that is kind of invoking changes in your reality right now. And look at this. This is probably what it is exactly. This is you walking away from things that no longer serve you. So I feel that some of you have really made a point to get rid of the things that aren't serving your higher purpose. These could be habits, these could be patterns that some of us aren't aware of that we have. This could be switching up your routine. This could be you leaving uh, a place to go to a different place. But whatever this is, I feel that you are recognizing what these things are that are holding you back. And I feel for a lot of you, these are relationships. These are people that are tying you down. And I feel that you have walked away from this. I also feel for some of you, you have a lot of choices, but they're not aligned to you. Like you're being given offers, but you're kind of like, no, I'm not interested because this is not what I want. I've got a bigger picture in mind. So I'm going to turn my back on this and walk away. And I feel that you know what you want here, Cancer, and you're really focused on getting to this place or having this one thing come into your life here. So that focus is there, that attention is there. And that driving force, that um, spark that's in you is so bright and so intense that you're feeling it kind of outwardly. It's kind of energetically flowing outside of you. So which in turn is putting you in this frequency or vibration, which is attracting this one certain thing in your life. So lots of different things going on here for you, Cancer. I feel that some of you are really focusing in on your goals. You have this certain vision in mind. You have crystal clarity around that. And because of this, you're kind of taking action here. You're getting into motion. You are initiating. And through this process, you're going to uh, experience a lot of success in your life. 
And what's happening here is I'm getting this busy energy coming towards you. It's kind of like you are now ready to get into action. You've planned things out. You figured out what it is that you want to do around something, a situation, around a person, around your life. And you're really taking action. You're, you're switching things up. And I feel there's lots of different things that you're kind of reorganizing in your life here, Cancer, to make um, the best possible life for yourself. Now, I'm not getting any kind of uncomfortable energy here through this card. I'm definitely getting it through the Eight of Cups, though. So as you're moving, um, there's lots of things coming at you. So some of you are experiencing struggles and challenges right now. But I feel that you're okay with it because you know what the ultimate purpose and kind of what direction you're going in. And these obstacles, these challenges that you're facing, right, are kind of little compared to that bigger picture that you have in your mind so you're kind of tackling them it's like you're you're riding this horse you're a knight you're going into war you know what your destination point is you've got your flag you've got your coin and you're going to go there and claim victory so you're you're driven here you're determined to get to this place and i feel that you have this super strength within you because you've got a cape on so some of you are tapping into your inner child and you're exploring the possibilities and you're just going for it. This is that beautiful energy that is going to bring about that growth and that change that some of you have been seeking for a long time. So I'm getting the chariot card here. So this is you really getting into the driver's seat of your car right now and driving. Some of you are seeking that freedom in your life where you're kind of planning and strategizing and really focusing in on doing things that are going to benefit you okay so a lot of work here for some of you you are really busy here there's a lot of responsibilities responsibilities on you as you're going through this and sometimes this doesn't feel comfortable right even though i'm not getting a comfortable energy with this because i'm getting this feeling of bravery and courage like there's a lot of um Oh my gosh, it's just like you're you're powered up, you're ready to go. There's this self-confidence there as well. And you're kind of like, you know what? Heck with all those negative thoughts in my mind. I'm not going to give them any time. I'm not going to give them my energy. So you're just going for it. You're shielded, you're guarded. And this is you really shifting your mindset in a way here as well, Cancer, because I feel some of you are in this growth mindset. And for some of you, this is a new place to be. You've, you've kind of heard about it you've thought about it and now you're actually living it and because you're living it you're seeing a lot of motion in your life a lot of forward movement and some of you are going in such a fast pace that whatever those struggles and challenges are some of you are kind of like i'm going to ignore some of those because if i give my energy towards them if i actually because some of the struggles and challenges aren't yours they're just around you so you're kind of like looking at them and you're going past them. You're just like, yep, yeah, no to that, no to this, that distraction, see you later. All like the energy is so incredible for you, Cancer. I feel that you are going to rise so high. And anything that is uh, a barrier, you're kind of like breaking that down. So that belief in yourself is so big because that is what the driving force is. It's almost like you've come into this new place. You've tapped into this uh, new emotion this um strength in a way where it is kind of the driving force for you to really see that destination point with clarity and you're going for it man like you are really going for it here cancer so way to go my friends i'm seeing some of you kind of building something here as well i don't know if you're building um some sort of a statue or a home like you're working on something physically so I'm seeing a lot of busy energy there. So you're kind of collaborating with the team. And I want you to know Spirit Guides are showing me the completion of this and it's going to go really well for you. Now for others, you are kind of busy, busy working in front of a computer, building your empire. So I don't know if some of you are YouTubers out there. No, you're going to gain success through repetition and consistency. Okay, to build a schedule because with this card, this is a beginning stage for some of you. So you're working towards kind of getting everything organized, really putting that effort and attention to detail to make sure that you're successful and not missing the details. So I'm getting this energy as well. So because you're putting that work in, you're putting that time and energy in and really building a schedule around this, you're going to gain that success.
I'm also getting that some of you have come into money in some way, whether this is financial support through a loan, through a friend, um, this could be even you leveling up at work in some way where you're getting this extra income, which is really launching you forward. So there's a launch happening for some of you. This could be a launch of a new business. Uh, I don't know if some of you are artists out there that you have paintings and you're doing an art gallery show. So there's a launch around some sort of a product. Um, what else am I getting here? Some of you are building websites. I'm getting a website, you're doing your email thing. So a lot of organization, a lot of energy being put into the beginning um, starting point for some of you. And, you know, that extra attention to detail is what is going to kind of launch you forward. So that extra planning, that strategizing, really thinking things through having a plan A, B and C. I feel that some of you are really uh, focusing in on creating that ultimate success for yourself and you're going to get that success. You're going to take that flag and you're going to claim victory on this, whatever this is for you. Now, the efforts and that hard work, all of that is being seen by those around you. I feel that your peers at work are seeing you working hard. I also feel that management team around you here, Cancer, is also seeing how much work you're putting in. And I do feel some of you have kind of shifted the way that you think. You've kind of put yourself in this place where you're accepting yourself in your current place. And because you've accepted this, you're working towards enhancing your skill sets, adding value to yourself. And by doing this, I feel that that recognition is there. So you're going to see a promotion or a raise in some way at work here. Cancer. And I also feel that some of you are leveling up. So there's growth coming in, like career advancement also. Now, the other thing is spirit guides are wanting some of you, especially if you have um, a job where they offer, um, offer growth by teaching you things. So that teaching, like taking courses through work because it's available to you. It's paid for by your company. Spirit guides really want you to take advantage of those opportunities because with those opportunities, you're going to add value. And when you do that, management and, and, and uh, CEOs are going to see that as something that is of value. So you're able to kind of work your way up in your career. Okay, so taking those courses and really adding skill sets and value to yourself so you're worth a little bit more here because I'm seeing a lot of growth in your finances coming in. I also see some of you working uh, and collaborating in team projects, whether this is you building something, creating something. Um, there's going to be a lot of success and growth with this as well, and especially that income leveling up. Um, collaborations are going to be huge here especially those of you that are youtubers out there and you're trying to grow your business collaborate with people especially those um you know those those of you that are in business or in a certain niche where you can rise up a little bit through collaboration so reach out to people especially people that you see yourself as or you're in that same niche and you see a successful person reach out be resourceful, reach out and kind of uh, use your resources to your advantage here. Now, spiritual growth and um, it's, it's big here because I'm seeing some of you kind of getting into workshops, doing some sort of a course, uh, learning something new around this. So I'm seeing a, a lot of expansion happening in your spiritual growth here as well, Cancer. So know that there's a lot of good that is coming in. I'm seeing a lot of you growing spiritually, growing um, in your finances here and collaborating with people. And those of you that are in business, uh, networking right now is going to be really good um, to, to get out there and really mix and mingle and get to know people and build deep connections around you and your workplace. Now, what I'm getting in my mind with this energy is I remember when I was working in the dental field, that's what I've done my whole life. Um, I managed dental clinics. So I used to make friends with every single person, patients, sales reps, like everybody, even in the building I worked with, I'd make a point to talk to the other business owners, the people that work there, the businesses that were around the coffee shops. And through that is coming some sort of an opportunity here for some of you. So make a point to actually go and mix and mingle with 
people in the area and build friendships because I feel there are opportunities coming in through people for you. All right, there's a lot of blessings coming towards you. And I feel that you're receiving the signs from the universe here because the universe is sending you a uh, good omen, some, you know, things that are confirming to you that you're on the right path here. I also am getting, uh, I don't know why I'm getting this, but there's a, a soul tribe energy coming in. So some of you are aligning with your soul tribe, people that are aligned to kind of uh, be friends to build deep bonds with you that are aligned with the same goals that you have the same values you have so there's that alignment happening so you're going to see people coming towards you so be open and receptive to this energy here cancer because i do feel there are good connections coming towards you that are going to uplift you and really bring you into a place in your life where you're experiencing things a little bit differently okay and I feel this is the biggest factor of the change in a majority of your lives is the things that you have left behind. Now, I feel some of you have walked away from a certain lifestyle. And this is really proving to be of success for you because you're noticing all of these changes and you're dr this is your driving force. Perhaps you were in a life uh, where things weren't working in your favor, that all the things that were happening were wrong. I feel that some of you kind of, this shift happened for you a few years ago. I f I'm getting around COVID. I feel a lot of us, um, there was a shift in our energy in the whole world. Um, and, and things, for some of us, things changed for the better. And for others, I feel this changed for the worse. And because of this, there's been big changes that we've had to make in our lives. And I'm seeing you... Uh, some of your belief systems almost being shattered in a way or you're kind of leaving behind what you once thought was true which is not now true so i'm seeing you walking away from some certain thing in your life here others i'm feeling that you've kind of let go of a lot of the negativity around you people habits things that are holding you back so and you saw a much better vision ahead of you so you kind of look back at the things that were there and you walked away from them and this has taken a toll on some of you because this does take a lot of work. It there's because there's attachments that we have that we have to let go of and we have to go through the process of doing that. I feel for some of you, um, this is a journey of getting over an addiction, right? And you're really seeing success in that. So there's a lot of proud energy, a lot of celebrations here as well that I'm getting through this card. Not only is there sorrow and sadness, but I'm getting a lot of happiness coming from that journey of sadness and sorrow. So that's kind of interesting that that's coming through. I also feel that some of you have some choices. There are opportunities at hand. And this is you manifesting and throwing this big net out into the world and grabbing everything. And it's kind of coming towards you. And you're kind of like, no, I don't want that. No, I don't want that either. No, I know what I want. It's not here. It's not in this pile of um, things that are coming in. So that focus is there and you're standing strong in what it is that you believe in and what it is that you're desiring and wanting. And you're not settling for what is coming at you. So some of you once did settle right? This is a settlement and you've left that way of thinking because you're thinking of your higher self. You're thinking about what is going to best benefit you. So there's a lot of things coming at you and you're kind of like, no, no, been there, done that. No, that kind of energy. <laughs> it's so funny. Even in the dating scene, some of you are dating and you're very, um, you know exactly what kind of person you want to be with. So you're kind of like, I'm not going to settle. I'm going to find my soulmate, the one that's aligned to me. So I'm not going to be uh, i'm going to be picky now i'm not going to settle for anything so i'm seeing some of you kind of leaving that version of yourself to own in on that new version that authentic version of yourself and really um, surrounding yourself with the right kind of people that are going to help uplift you and because of this because of this cancer you're seeing a lot of good changes coming towards you and I'm telling you, spirit guides are showing me this beautiful happily ever after for some of you. And this is kind of what you're working towards. And there's a lot of deep connections coming in, a lot of opportunities, a lot of blessings coming towards you. So I want you to embrace this energy and really have that clear idea of where it is that you're headed. Do you know what your destination point is here, Cancer? Because when you know that, and I say this on my channel all the time because I feel it's very important to know where you're going in your life 
okay and to have that clarity and certainty within ourselves and when we have that that's when things start to work in our favor and in alignment for us because then that's when the universe and spirit guides know like hey now that cancer has that clarity we can bring all of these things in and help them line them line you to that path okay so that's kind of what is going on so i feel a lot of you have made some really big changes in your life because you're looking at um, your future you're looking at that place you want to be and you're taking your life seriously by getting in the driver's seat and taking onus of your life and responsibility for your life and your actions so this is going to prove to be of utmost success that abundance is there some of you are seeing it very very clearly and you're working your way towards that and nothing is going to stop you okay I'm now going to pull a bonus card for you. This is the Priestess of Light Oracle deck. I absolutely love this deck. The cards are beautiful. The messages are beautiful. The artwork on this is absolutely stunning. So I'm super excited to pull a bonus card from this deck today. So let's see what we get here for you, Cancer. All right, let's give this a good shuffle here. Angelic assistance is coming through for you, Cancer. So look at that. It's that universe working in your fa favor and spirit guides. So this card is about, all about divine guidance and loving support. So let me find the interpretation here from the guidebook and read that to you. Number six is the page. So it is right here. And sorry, my book has fallen apart. You can see how much I use this book. All right. So this tender hearted, smiling angel brings you a message of encouragement and support cancer. Heavenly light emanates from her heart and hands, and the brilliance of divine consciousness shines down from above the top of her head. This vibrating resonance of healing and loving power is all around you, brought by the angels who long to assist you in every area of your life. If you have never turned to the angels before, now is the time to start. They are very real presence in the world and they can exert a significant influence in your life. If you have a problem that needs resolving or a project that needs some inspiration, the angels can help you there. Whether you're working on a physical issue or a difficult relationship, the angels bring clarity and healing. So stop resisting and open up to their real, their very real power, cancer. Invite them to walk with you through your day. Ask for their guidance, energy, and joyous resolutions. Then let yourself stop and take a moment to receive. You'll be amazed by the healing peace and inspiration that comes your way. Look at that, cancer. Angelic assistance is all around you. Call on them for assistance and guidance. And, you know, every time I start my day, that's a very th first thing I do is I call upon the angels, my spirit guides, the universe to help guide me through the day. And I'm telling you, it works. They're there. They're very, very real. So call on your angels here, my friends. I'm now going to pull an angel card for you, an angel number. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to be your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. All right. So. Ooh. Zero, zero, zero. I am a creator. That's exactly what we all are, every human being. So if you've been seeing zeros everywhere, this is your confirmation that you, my friends, are a creator and you have the power to create anything you want in your life. Know that power, own that power, use that power. You are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth. So look at that. And I feel for some of you, that's exactly what you're working towards. You're in action. You are moving along this journey to create the life that you desire. And that's exactly what is happening. And you have angelic assistance to help guide you towards that place. So if this reading resonates for you today, Cancer, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.